This show is part of the RetroZap.com podcast network. Hello, this is Mess Mikkelsen from Star Wars Rogue One, and you are listening to Bruce and Blasters. Here we go. You're listening to Bruise and Blasters. The Star Wars party starts now. How are we doing? Same as always. That bad, huh? Pokey religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side, kid. Let us go inside where we can discuss business over a drink. Could you join us for a little refreshment? Everyone's invited, of course. With Chris Salton and Joe Tavano, two guys from Boston, who were talking about this stuff anyway. Whoa. Whoa. Let him, let him marinate with like a good steak tip. Oh, yeah. Hey! Renegades. Renegades. Even got him. Even got him. Even got him. Got him. Even got him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a nice time. <laughs> we just got a <laughs> cup of super cold. Zippy sip. Yes! <laughs> we had a barbecue. Society! <laughs> <laughs> okay, start with the guy. With the guy. Dangerous, 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 dangerous. Happy 2019, Warheads! The holidays are over and it's time to talk about Star Wars. What's in store for us this year? And what's in store for Chris and Joe? Let's talk. We have some things to talk about. I don't know what I'm saying! I'm Rusty. Yeah, I don't know what we just did. Actually, my name's Joe, but, you know, yeah. whatever. I, I, I said something like, duh, 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 and, you know, whatever. Joe, Joey, Joseph, whatever. Joey, Joe, Joey, Joe, Joe, <laughs> dancer. <Yeah. laughs> there yeah. we go. Who's the boss? <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to Bruising Blasters. Happy 2019. Happy uh, that's Happy what, New Year, guys. That's, that's you know? the year it is. The Blade Runner year, 2019. We did it. We, did, we made it. We made it. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations on it being 2019. We all worked really hard, and all of a sudden, it happened. Yeah, it paid off, you know? Yeah, that's it. Happy New Year. That's it. It's funny, because when the ball drops, everyone's more like, okay, time to go home. Yeah, let's go. Hey, I was already home. <laughs> Back to work. Yeah, I ate some Chinese food. Oh, we all did, huh? Oh, I felt so I good. like that tradition, though. Oh, it was great. It was great. I got, I got the uh, Peking dumpling. Nice. There we go. I got the fried rice and the lo mein. Nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, you mix uh, them? No. Or I, you like keep them separate? Separate on the plate, but yeah. I just, you know, put soy sauce all over that. Oh, that's what I'm oh, talking yeah. about. That's it. Yeah. We, uh, we, had, a, I, I, we had a good new year. Uh, <laughs> okay. So we'll get back to that. More, more on the Chinese food later. <laughs> but I just want to say. This is Bruise and Blasters. Welcome. This is the original Star Wars party. It's often imitated. Number two. Uh, that was close. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, <laughs> often imitated, never duplicated. Thank you for being here. And if this is your first time partying with us, we're sorry, but we hope you have a good time. Yeah, it's only been five years. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> yeah, have you pressed stop yet? If not... <laughs> We're going to have a good time, but, you know, 
Uh, before we get into anything, Chris, I need to know when the Star Wars party begins. Right about now. You're right. You got you did a good job of that. So two things. All right. Check, check. Check, check. You get the light going? <laughs> the light guy? You started the party. And I, yeah, I start the party. Look at you. That's Thank it. Thank you. That's Chris. All right, I'm going to start- go take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so get the white zin. Joe, what are you drinking? <laughs> Chris, I'm drinking a little bit of Kettle One. Yeah, you got the Kettle One. I, I got a some, nice... Get some, uh, get some old old salsas over here I got to mix that in with. Oh, yeah, we get some salsas, yeah. yeah we got some, a I, nice blush going on here. Two hours ago, there was some ice in here. Yeah, that, uh, uh, I know, we, right? Yeah, the show before the show happened. We had yeah. to catch up on some yeah. things. Pre-show. Yeah, pre-show. Yeah, and post-show. You guys wish you heard the pre-show. Yeah. You don't know, but you wish you did. Trust me. It's, it's, always, it's always great. Yeah, it's just two guys talking. Yeah. Oh wait! <laughs> <laughs> oh wait! That's what this is too. That's really we don't we don't do anything different. Yeah, no, it's, no, it's, it's us. Speaking of which, continuing the conversation, you had an '86 Cougar. Yes, I had an '86 Cougar. What color was it? Isn't that weird? It was uh, like a dark gray. Oh, you're the dark. I had the white. I had the white with the blue interior. I had a uh, pop up uh, moonroof. Oh, look at look at you, in, Mr. Fancy. And the interior was Miss, like a maroon color. Mr. Fancy Pants with the moon. I didn't get that moon roof. Yeah. And you know yeah. what's funny? There was built in, um, what are those called? Uh, it, like, Windows. It, no, it keeps like the sun out. You know, like you, you, you like almost draw like the, the blind. Uh, like, uh, we have it in the car to keep the sun out of like, uh, like Ben's eye. Is it a uh, tint? It wasn't tent. It's like a I thing tried, that you I tried to down. tint the windows on the Cougar. It didn't work out well. I bought the, all the cheap stuff from AutoZone. Oh. I was 18 years old. Oh, yeah, yeah, but it probably looked great to you. I got, like, fancy hubcaps, and I'm like, look at this. I know. Yeah, I got, I got chromies. Yeah. Joe, I spent $18. <laughs> 18 that was big, big, ones. big bucks, man. I waxed that car. It's the only car I ever waxed. I did? Yeah. yeah. I waxed it, yeah. You Dude, treated it like gold. Chris, I love that car so much. I, I was so sad to see it go. I wasn't actually. It was like time, you know. Dude, I love that. I love that car so much so that in 2006, uh, I was in the market for a car, and I was on the lot, and I saw uh, one of the newer Cougar. Remember they re-released the Cougar? Yeah, but it, it was more almost like a. I don't want to call it a sports car, but it, it was, was like a, oh, yeah, it was a sports car. It was car, totally my different. It was like a two seater with like the back. It, 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 that thing was a V8. It was. I just remember the nose bro, of the car being so big, huge, and, and the door was so heavy, huge, Chris. Yep. Yeah, I. I but I got in that car and I, I, I hit the gas. It felt just like the '86, and I'm like, I'm home. I'm like, Chewy, we're home. You know what's weird too? The steering wheel because it was rear wheel drive, dude. Yeah. It was like a boat wheel. Like you could just spin it. <laughs> it really, it you really, really was. You it was really like, could. Foo. Yeah, seriously. Man, I cr- that car was a cruising I, car. I uh, I did a, a complete 360 right yeah. over a median, dude. I can't still tell- here, Joe. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I, <laughs> I, I suffered a few accidents in the, in the 86 it's Cougar. It's scary. Well, like, but you that know, thing, you, that thing was like it was like a steel boat. It, it was, was a like tank. A, it was a tank. It there was no fiberglass, Joe. That no. was it was metal. It was all steel right yeah. there. Union pride yeah. right there. Twisted metal. Twisted metal. No, nothing twisted. That thing just. I had a couple dents. Yeah. Eh, whatever. You know what's funny? My aunt had that car for a very long time. She had it in the garage. Aunt, my aunt had that car. But it was like pristine, right? Yeah. She I, had an 86. I, I adopted that thing in the 90s. I had it for a year. I had it for a couple more the, than that. I, I, the horn was blown out. There was <laughs> dents. Uh, the hub, I sideswiped a, like a... Um, like this tow truck yeah. and like that bottom like um like little step just tore the car. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I drove away. You look know, at you. look at that. That's what we do. You guys still listening? <laughs> It just dawned on me. What? What? Well, hold on. Let the air wolf fly. Well, before I forget. Okay. Because I've been known to forget things immediately. These things happen. I'm getting older. It's is 2019. it called a sunscreen? Yeah. That's what the thing was. It was built into the moonroof. Congratulations. Yeah. Weird, Looking right? You had a sunscreen. But on the like, guy. why would they have that? Why not? Built it in. Was, it was the eighties. Yeah. The, I mean, yeah. that was probably like next. Uh, you know, it was a time of excess. Next best thing. You know. Continuing on with the Star Wars related talk, uh, let's talk about Food Quest. Did it? Because I, I need to. I need your opinion on this. Did Food Quest happen? Um, not really. Not really. It was two dudes just like eating dinner. Yeah. So what happened is you worked a full day and I got busy with stuff at home. Yeah. And then we just met for for dinner. We we had we went to Kowloon I and we crushed. Like- uh, we crushed a lot though. We had a good time at that that Kowloon. We did still come up strong. We though. smashed egg rolls. All right. Yeah. With spring rolls. Spring, oh yeah, yeah. I had, I had, I had an egg roll on New Year's Eve, man. I was I eating did that too. Thing. I was eating like a burrito. 
Did you, uh, fist bump. Was it shrimp and yaws? No. See, mine either, and I like that. Yeah, I like that too. Um, but d- the Fantasy Island ones, man, they were like a burrito. I would yeah. smash that. I like thing. that place. Yeah, it's a great place. It really was. Old school, Americanized it, it, Chinese it, it food. It is old school. And, and you know, it's a nice place too. It is. They, they, they do good stuff. The bar is great. Oh, it's it, straight out of the 70s. Was it karaoke? No, no karaoke. I feel that like night. every night is karaoke night there. Pretty much. Pretty much. But it's, it's straight out of the 70s. All right, and, so Food Quest. Yeah, so it really didn't happen. It yet. Did, no, yeah, it didn't happen yet. We'll, but we'll, we'll find a day. We made it to Kowloon's. As it turns out, the, ho- the, the holidays, they're, uh, they're a little busy. Yeah. And that's what happened, really. You know, if. Thinking that we're going to do this like three days before Christmas, maybe not the best idea in the world. Maybe not the best plan of attack. Right. But I think it'll happen soon. It will. We'll make it happen. Well, like, we need to go to that... Um, that Egg uh, Roll Warrior. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah 19 Egg Rolls. we got to try them out. We need to try them out. Yeah. Just order the menu. I'll have one of everything. You well, know? if we split them in half, then we... No, it's still 18. But yeah, I mean, well, the intake will be 9 and 9. Yeah, but why, why, and we get I, to try them all. Yeah, but I want. To, I I kind of just want my own egg roll though. Well, that's true. That's like, true. Like, what happens if we really like one? Oh, and plus, yeah. half of them like seafood, and I'm not going to eat them. Oh, there you go too. I'll All right, see that's you not going to work. So yeah. All right, we'll figure that out. How was Christmas? Did you get anything Star Wars related? Yes. All right, what'd you get? Um, Alexa got me the AT ACT bookends from Gentle Giant. Look at you! I saw those on the gram. I uh, I absolutely love that thing. Wow. Uh, Bennett got me uh, a Yoda best dad in the galaxy. Wow. How much did that set him back? Yeah, I know, right? We we really started him off early. Yeah, you uh, got a job already, huh? Yeah. I mean, I can't wait for him to start doing leaves. Nice. I'll pay him good money for that. Nice. I, it's one of my things that I don't like to do. Get raking, kid. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's six months, everyone. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and what else? My dad got me the uh, the hover tank uh, Rogue One Look at vintage you. collection. Look at you. Um, did I, I think that might be it. Oh, got- oh, my mom got me the Scarif Trooper uh, mini bust. Uh, Gentle yeah. Giant. Yeah. I got some gift cards and a, uh, a subscription to Costco. You, uh, dude, that's all good things. It's you all can't good go things. wrong with hey, a gift card. I'm not, I'm not saying I, I'm not. I'm not kicking on gift cards in the month. I got some great, uh, you know, mm-hmm. very, very, very thoughtful gifts of money and, and a Costco subscription. Um, my wife got me a tie. That was nice. That's nice. Super yeah. dad, super dad thing. I'm like, look at me, look at yeah. me. All right, I'll take that. Uh, my niece though gave me a Star Wars gift. Mm-hmm. Seven years old, gave me a Star Wars gift. That's Love awesome. It. it was this tiny. This little is toy. the girl that likes uh, Lando, right? Yeah. She's like, who's this guy? He's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she get I don't know where she got it. I don't know what it's from, but it's, I was gonna bring it. I forgot it, but it's a little little Kylo Ren toy. Like oh nice. This, this big, a little, little tiny thing. And uh she's like, Here you go. She put she put it in this big gift bag with like tons of paper. I almost missed it. Well the it thing was, is it's so tiny. It's like it's like the size of like a dime. Yeah, but just knowing that she was probably like, We have to give this to Joe. Yeah, she she I don't know where she acquired this from, but she's like, I have to give it to my Uncle Joe. I'm like, All right. There's You're a Kylo right. Ren missing from a little micro machine play set <laughs> Probably somewhere. Some kids crying. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, I, I, I love it. I'm, I'm so happy about that. You know, And also, not a gift, but you know, my six-month-old daughter, I, uh, I watched Empire Strikes Back with her. Yes. I did. I saw that on the gram. You saw that on the gram too, huh? Look at us on the gram. Yeah. Like the kids. I hear the kids like that stuff. Smash that like button, you know? Smash that like button on Instagram. Bruce and Blasses. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no, I, I I, I watched Empire Strikes Back. The the wife went out, and uh, yeah, we put on Empire Strikes Back. Guess what happened? You know, people worry all the time about what age should I show my kid? What, what, yeah, what, what, I don't it Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Six months old, you know? Yoda. Yoda, Yoda, get on screen. You speak Yoda. Dude, I gotta tell you. The head snapped Whoosh. I, th- right to the screen. The second that Yoda was on screen, Luke. The second Luke was on screen, or a second you heard Bruh. the lightsaber, Bruh. her head just snapped right over to look at it. There's something about Yoda's voice. He could be crying yes. straight up, and I'll be like, "Yes," and he's like, "What?" <laughs> and yeah. he's just like, like tuned in, dude. He's a muppet. He, he was, you know, he's a Frank Oz, same voice on hey, Sesame Street. Real quick, right? Real quick. A waka waka waka. Yeah. Try it. They love it. They lo- uh, they love it. And I I get like I'm telling you like the Muppets. Jim Henson. They figured it out. Genius. Yes. Genius. It works. Genius. 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 Seriously, Jim Henson was a genius, and yeah. everything Frank Oz. that he ever did was gold. Yeah. It was gold. You know. Oh, speaking of which, speaking of which, Star Wars related, the Dark Crystal is getting a series. Yes. You show. Um. You sent me that trailer. I know. We're gonna 
watch it. Who would have thunk it? Must have been a junket. <laughs> uh, Look gonna, at you over here. You're hanging out with iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's from the Zelda rap. I, ri- you never heard of this? It, no. it was like an internet sensation, like 2001. Yeah. Oh heard? well, so so wasn't the um, when you showed me the I'm a dinosaur. I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't watch. Don't listen to that with kids around. Yeah. Uh, Five million views. Yeah. Probably even more now. Who knows? Exactly. Yeah. You know, the, a band called the Five Three Federation put out a Zelda rap in like 2001. It was hilarious. Whatever. I'll it's, have to check it out. It's, yeah. it's kind of bad. It's bad, <laughs> but it's like one of those things that's so bad it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Star Wars related. What were we talking about? Jim uh, Henson, yeah. Dark Crystal. Yeah. We're gonna watch it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna watch that. We're gonna watch yeah. it. Yeah. And what's nice is it's on Netflix, so we can blast it out on a weekend. That's it. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. All of it done. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. So Stranger Things three, I you're, apparently you're... is happening July fourth. Oh yeah. yeah. Stranger Things. Yeah. I, now I know we're all over the place right now, but hey, welcome to the party. Yeah. You know, we're partying. Yeah. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. We'll White Zin, let's go. <laughs> you're drinking White Zinfandel. Look at you. Yeah. Ice cubes, a Dixie cup style. Let's go. <laughs> you got a you got a Dixie cup with ice cubes and White Zinfandel. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, 30. Welcome. He's more like a 75 year old grandmother. <laughs> yeah, wearing pajama pants. I almost want mine over here. You, sh- Joe, feel free. I, 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 I didn't worry about the, the, uh, the, the, the coothness of it. I just was like, what's warmer? Are these sweatpants or these jeans? Bring warmer? some I don't slippers. Know. I don't know. Whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with. Chris, if I bring slippers, I might be leaving them over here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we could set this up like Mister Rogers. You know how he like opens his closet, has like a nice like house sweater. Yeah. Bennett's gonna be like three, be like, oh, there's Uncle Joe in the robe. <laughs> <laughs> Does he live here? Well, you know, it's funny when it came down here into the Salty Museum of Natural History. Oh, jeez. I noticed the, uh, I noticed the life size mall. Oh, this was, is a fun. This is actually had, a, had a blanket all over. And I'm like, what's a mall over here? <laughs> and you were like, you you know what's really funny? I I didn't think anything of this. Yeah, it's just Darth Maul in a corner. Now he never cried. I bring him down here quite often. Well, he's and a he, tough dude. He looks at everything. He loves it all. But he locks into Maul. He locks in. And it's, it's like, one of those faces that it's like it's almost like uh, I don't want to say it's a look of concern, but it's more like what's going on. Yeah. So I maybe it is concerned. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't the baby's no fear yet. I don't know. They're don't, six months old. I don't know. But it's one of those things, it's like there's happy monsters. Yeah. Right? Exactly. And, and and then there's like like a dude like that, Hammerhead. Exactly. Hammerhead, There's something that, about he, Hammerhead. He's fun. Does he like Hammerhead? We all love Hammerhead. Well, I showed him like you know the two things that I have. Yeah. He, he doesn't mind it. No, he doesn't mind you it. Know? But he definitely like he locks in. He like the head snaps to like. Well, like I'll I'll walk yeah. a, like we'll be walking away from it, and he's still kind of like yeah looking back like who's that guy? Who's the seven foot black and red man yeah. that lives in my with my, horns my, like my basement? Yeah. yeah. Who's the devil man in the corner right. over there? So yeah, uh, bed sheet right over him. Yeah, you know, know. We're just gonna cover him up. Well, that's yeah. why I'm like, I'm not moving it. Yeah, exactly. No, but, no, no. But, no. but it, it's it's one of those things. Like, I guess I it's you don't think of these things, but I guess I could see it being like, okay, Ter- like, terrifying. Yeah, he's a little scary. He's a little scary. Yeah. You, he what you know what he needs to do? He needs to watch. <laughs> he needs to watch Liam. Needs to get him in half. I guess. Well, oh, well, that's yeah. the thing. Like watching the movies, yeah. like we, let's put it this way: it's the bad man. Like we watched. Well, I think uh, so. We watched uh, all of a New Hope. Yeah. We watched um, like half of the Empire Strikes Back, and we watched like an eighth of Rogue and One. And listen, we 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 know they're not really paying attention or Dude, absorbing this. He's been watching Game of Thrones with me. We're on season six. Okay, L- let's roll. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That scene yeah. when the dragons like rip that dude in half. I'm like, that was cool, right? Yeah, Emily loves Dateline murder mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for us, she really liked Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, so if you guys have like young young kids, I mean, just take out advice, you know, just uh, let them watch whatever they want. You know, they'll turn out just fine. I had a point there with Empire Strikes Back. It wasn't to just let the kids watch anything. It was the Muppets. Um, the Muppets. They, yeah. They, you know, if you just like, I, I re- you know, I've known Star Wars ever since I could remember, right? Because mm-hmm. I watched it young. We, you know, it was when it was on TV. I watched it. I, I had all the toys. It was just omnipresent. Yeah. Well, it was also a different time too, because I really yeah. feel like our parents let us watch like whatever. No, but not whatever. Well, not really yeah, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, but. I don't know. I just feel like there's more graphic stuff now because, there is. like, well, you know, 
let's put it this way those movies that should have been rated out but they were rated pg-13 back in the day but not for the same reason not for the violence reasons right for the language yeah. or you know other adult oriented things but you know like airplane you know you think i think of that one but anyways i, I don't want to get into that discussion all i'm saying is you know exposing the kids to star wars never a bad thing oh no doesn't don't worry about the order don't worry about anything you know maybe that maybe they don't watch anakin burn enough maybe that's okay you know, maybe they can save that for later. But if Yoda's on screen, you can do no wrong. Yeah. Hey. Well, I think that's why, um, you know, I, I saw Return of the Jedi when I was six. I saw I, it when I was three. I, I started, th- I was in the movie theaters, three years old, loving the Ewoks. I fell in love with all of the creatures. Yeah. Exactly. The Ewoks. I still. The love, Rancor. You know, I, I love the Ewoks, dude. Yeah. You know, um, it, it's just great. It, there's so much to love. Yeah, you know, exactly. It's uh, it, you know, it's soft they're on the eyes. For, you know, for kids. Yeah, they love them. It's great stuff. I gotta tell you, we gotta say goodbye to a couple of people. Okay, a couple of things. Mean Gene Oakland, I just found died. Mean Gene. Mean Gene Oakland. Yep, he died today. Seventy-six years old. I'm drawing a blank. I, I know exactly like the name. The announcer for WWF back in the day. Oh, bald on the top. Bald guy, oh, short guy, yeah. mustache. How? Yeah, how old? Seventy six. Yeah, I feel oh, that's still a little young, you know. Yeah, you know, whatever. Um, seventy six. I mean, Gene. He was. I mean, a, I mean he, he was a was, legend. He was the face. He was a legend. Yeah. Legend. Sorry for not letting it click that it's fast, not. but it's you know, a little I'm late. starting Don't to worry. slip. You know. Yeah, seriously. But also. I just found out today. Mean Gene died. Santoro Sub Villa is closing. You know something? Rappa said this. And I really? was like, yeah, it, he said it like two days ago. Well, and it was one February. of those things. You know what's weird? They're not leaving it to somebody. Like, no one's buying it. It's just closing up. Do you understand? We could buy it, keep all everybody there, everything the same, right? And just sit back and collect money. What are you suggesting, Chris? Are, we, are you suggesting we buy Santoro Sub Villa? I, why isn't it for sale? Like, I don't, I don't, they're just retiring? Like, that's that? I guess so. They'll probably sell the land. I feel bad for the dude that, um, he's, he's been cooking, uh, the subs in the back. He wears the yeah. baseball hat, yeah. right? for years, decades. But, dude, that's his, like, that's his legacy, right? Yeah. Where is he going? I actually think I might go in there and ask him. Like, yeah, I'm, cu- be- I'm curious about his life now. Chris, if you go into Santoro's, let me know. I want to get another, I want to get one last sub there. Did they, um. Want to get a good pepper egg. Did they put a, uh, a date? I, th- I, I think it's February sometime. Wow. Yeah. I kind of want, I want, like, it's all he knows. Like, what, yeah. what's he going to do? I know. I know. He's like, I'm going to Kelly's. I'm like, <laughs> probably. Oh, we'll go to Maybe we'll go to Domino's. Well, the thing is, they'll take care of you. Yeah. I mean, him, he's like a legend in, in the in the uh, the North Shore sub business. I can only, <laughs> I, I can imagine that, like, interview. Who am <laughs> I? <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? You ever have a pepper egg sub? I invented that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you ever had a sub from 1981 till 2019? <laughs> Good chance you got it from me, kid. Yeah, exactly. If you didn't get from me, you got my recipe. Yeah. You got an imitator. <laughs> I do, I walk in. I walk in and he's like, chicken finger sub, no sauce, extra pickles. I'm like Unbelievable. Look at this guy. As if you're the only one who ever orders there. Right, right, exactly. You they, know? they make you feel good. That's it. That's it. That's part that's part of making a good sub. I like to mess with them sometimes. Like, no steak bomb, no mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. Keep them on their toes, you know? Mm-hmm. But sub villa, man, that's a that's a legend. Legend yeah. in the sub industry. I wonder what's going to take its place. I don't know. Probably some other place that won't nothing be as good. I, nothing, nothing I want to know. Watch about. two months from now. We're like, we love this place. <laughs> from a galaxy far away. All right. As we said at the beginning of the show, uh, 2019. Yeah, 2019. It's still here. It's still 2019 as of this recording. Unless you listen to it in the future. It might be 2020 or 2030. Who knows? Uh, Yeah, it it could be. The beat goes on. We don't know when you're listening to this. It could be anytime, anywhere. Let us know what year it is when you listen to this. That would would be cool. If it's not 2019, let us know what year it is. Yeah, let us know. 
Screws and Blast at RetroZap.com. We want to know from you, future man. And we want to know, too, do people still put gel on their hair? Do you still have five fingers and five toes? What are humans like? Yeah. <laughs> what are humans like in the future that you live in? Do we all have gills now? Wait, wait, we're cooked, man. <laughs> are we? I don't know. It's the Who's future. Who's using LA looks? Come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is gel still a thing? Honestly, I want to know, does anybody <laughs> buy jubs of gel anymore? Jubs? 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 Jubs of uh, gel. Dude, what am I... I think that's the name of the, the episode. <laughs> Jugs and gel. <laughs> that one word? Uh, jugs? Jugs and gel. What did I say? It's jugs and gel. I just mashed them both together. It sounds like, a, it sounds like someone you find at the canteen. It's not like... Yeah, like... Chubs. Yeah, chubs. Oh, ch- jub? I don't, jubs. I can't even recreate what I just said. He said jubs a gel. Yeah. <laughs> it literally sounds like a Star Wars character. Yeah, jubs. Yo, look at this bounty hunter, jubs a gel. <laughs> like, did you ever hear of j- jubs? <laughs> he, lives in, he, he hangs out at the lower levels of course. I'm looking for jubs a gel. <laughs> yeah, he wears gel. It is, but it is on the bottom shelf. It's always on the bottom shelf of Walgreens in the corner. Little dust it's telling. still there. It, but, but no, it was buying gel. It's, it's a huge jug. Of yeah. like either blue, green, yellow. <laughs> exactly. It's like LA, LA style. Yeah, LA looks, I think. Because LA me and my looks. brother used to get it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, obviously a long time. Dude, yeah, it was like putting glue in your head. Smells like death. Yeah, you can probably uh, cut glass with your hair after it's like dried. For real. For real. Yeah, so, okay, future man and woman. If you're listening to this and it's not 2019, let us know. Is gel still a thing? Bruce and Blast at RetroZap.com. We want to know from you. All right, send us an email. Of course, we'll be receiving the email in the future, too. So we already know the answer, but, you know. Do you know what's crazy? What's right now is the future. No, and now is the, now is the future. <laughs> Look at this. We're, we're traveling. We're time traveling yeah, right now. We are time travelers. No, I'm kidding. We're going to talk about 2019, and we're going to talk about Star Wars. Uh, I was looking at Jedi News, and uh, I was going to do this myself, but they did it really well for me. So I'm going to... I'm gonna, Pull from their information quite a bit. I added a couple things in here, but okay, Chingy Tings. Jedi Knight, Jedi News compiled um, a lot of things to be excited about in 2019 for Star Wars because there's a lot coming. Yeah, there is. And a lot I've been coming, thinking yeah. about this for a while, and I'm like, man, we got a lot of things to think about. So a lot of people this week are doing recap shows of what was great about 2018. I'm saying let's move on. Let's talk about 2019 because we got even more right to look forward but to. Wait, there's more. Yes, exactly. So January. Star Wars Resistance continues. Okay. I, I All right, let's get real. All right. Let's get real. I, I haven't watched any Star Wars Resistance after the first like three or four episodes. I just haven't watched them. Um, I am um, I, I have watched all of them. It's just that I don't understand what's going on. I'm not bashing them. All right. I'm, oh, I'm not bashing them either. I just don't understand I, like the, the the story, I guess. I don't know the thrust of this show yet. Like, where are we all going here? You know? Right. Maybe the second half of season one will tie it all together. I really hope so. I mean, some of the characters, uh, the way it looks, um, there's a lot of positives here. There's a lot of positive resistance. I think we've been through that previously. Yeah. We weren't blowing smoke before. I just, I just don't, I don't, I don't get it. You know, like. Yeah. um, And and I know it's not for us, but at the same time, I don't know who it's for. Yeah. I, I just don't see kids like flipping out over the show either. Well, keep in mind too, we are the positive Star Wars guys. We are. And I, I found all the positives that I can in this show. It I'm just saying the story, I I don't understand what's I'm, going on. I'm having trouble with this. And Every episode that they, it they're speeding or maybe the first order yeah. shows up or you know, something like that it happens. Ju- it just seems like a very simple Saturday morning cartoon show. It does. Yeah. That's that, on that's Sunday the, nights. The vibe at, that I get. That's on Sunday nights at yeah. 10. Like, you could, you can miss three episodes, jump in, and you won't be lost. Nothing. You know what I mean? Because nothing's happened. Yeah. Like, the Clone Wars, I had, a, a, like, a ritual with the Clone Wars. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rebels. Were, were ba- there. Yeah, basically the same way. You know, Chris, like, we, this one, we I'm like, watch I... It. Chris, we were watching it at my house. We would, we would record... Then we would go watch Rebels, and then we would come back and, and record and, yeah. and record more. Yeah, it, I mean, and it, our it wives was, and our wives were really happy yeah. about that whole scenario. I mean, it was like in, <laughs> intense storytelling. It was intense storytelling. You're absolutely right. This is not intense storytelling. No, this is fun. This is Saturday morning fun, and that's fine, I guess. However, I feel like we could be doing more. We could be doing more. Well, I mean, I, I know we touched upon this too. I mean, that's why I'm, I'm well, not. 
like really excited for the Mandalorian just because of this reason. Yeah. I'm really excited because it's going to be amazing and we love John Favreau. Yeah. Now, and then for them to hit us up with uh Cassian Andor uh series 2. Like oh, we'll get it. We'll get to it. Let's get, I, we'll, let's, let's 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 wait. Let's wait to talk I, about I, I that. I want I want the live action. Yeah. But you know what's funny Chris? If the same weight was put on the 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 animated, I would be fine. You know? Right. Yeah. I, I just want my Star Wars to matter, I guess. I just want it to matter. Well, I don't want the throwaway series. We're, we're talking about storytelling. Yeah. So I, I, I personally don't care if it's a cartoon or live action. I don't you care. Know? I don't care what medium it is. I listen. I, I, I take Star Wars in all mediums. Yeah. I just want it to matter. But now that they say that they're throwing live action at us, I want the live action. I'm, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down to clown right, right. with live action town. Take our money. Maybe that's the title of this episode, Down to Clown in Live Action Town. Yeah, that's a good one. Did you that's, just make that up? I just said it. See, the, See we, we, little, we flow in the Beat Lab. We're flowing. The Beat Lab The beat lab is, uh, is humming right <laughs> Joe now. Joe just freestyled. There we go. There we go. Who would have thunk it? Tunk it. <laughs> oh, man. So, where are we? Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, February, Hasbro Sail Barge. Oh yeah, it's man. arriving. It's happening. It's happening, Chris. Aye. Aye. I can't believe it's going to be here. I know. Now you tell me you have plans to update the Salt Museum of Natural History. Do yeah. you have a spot picked out? I do. Okay. I do. I need to build the shelf. So okay. right when I get it, oh, uh, I oh, can, oh, oh, I can, you know, display it the way it should be. I've been building some shelves, my friend. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Uh, over Christmas break because it's not a vacation without some work. Oh right. <laughs> so. Yeah, of course. I uh, I ripped I ripped apart um, a whole closet and just built some shelves. Built a whole new shelving unit nice. in my in my in my one of my big closets. So I do that on vacations. I just you know I, I see things that are about to fall apart and I, I replace them. Hey, it's my day off. Let's work. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's called life. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the barge. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm it's excited. amazing. I'm excited for you. I didn't order one. I um, get updates from um, HasLab. Yeah. And uh, with all like exclusive pictures and how they're going to be packaging it I, and all I that know. stuff. I I really would have liked to bought to have bought it. I just don't have the room. It's I, huge. It's it's just it was literally one of the things. The only thing that held me back it wasn't the price. It was the room. I do not have the room, so yeah. I could not purchase it. Right. You know what I'm going to be on the hunt for though? The figure. My Chase figure yeah. for 2019 is a yak face on that. Power of the Force Vintage Guard that comes pre-packed with the barge. Now, I wouldn't be surprised that that figure is going to be a price point of like 150 200 It might be. It might be. I really think so. Because yeah, the, the thing at is... At least. Now, now, what I just seen because of the um, the behind the workbench or whatever it's called that they send me, um, the figure's actually being packaged in the same box as the barge. So you're mm-hmm. going to have to open that barge to get that figure. Yeah, there's going to have to be lunatics who bought a barge and want and want to put that thing up for on eBay now, for a ridiculous price point. Well, the thing, too, is that figure is being released. It's a different name oh, I've already, without the coin. It's Selt. It, it, they're packaging a Selt Marie. Yeah. Or Mar. Or, is it Marie? It's so, something like that. I don't Selt, know. Selt Marie. I just uh, know it's not Yak Face. It, and, and it's on a vintage card, but it looks like the the, the vintage collection. Like mm-hmm. it has a, the, 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 the silver race, racing stripe and it says, you know, Star Return of the Jedi Wars at the top. And that's what it is, you know? Now, which but, was not how the original figure was released. It was released on a Power of the Force card. Right. Which had red and it's a Power of the Force. It said Yak Face. And it said Yak Face. Right. It. And that's going to be the figure I want. So the people that are buying this to rip it right out of the box and display it, play with it, whatever, yeah. and put all the figures on it, maybe this card, this carded figure, the exclusive one, that yeah. they're not like, oh, you know, like, I could just get the figure, rip it out of the package, you know, for twelve ninety nine, and sell this one for mm-hmm. $150, 200 to soften the blow of just spending 500 and something dollars. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking for someone to, to, I'm looking for someone like that. Yeah. You know? Who wants to uh, wants to sell me the yak face out of the barge? We'll there's, see what happens. There's going to be a lot. I, I feel like eBay is going to be flooded. Like come beginning of March. Yeah, I, I do too. Like, um, it's going to be like barge overload on eBay. Here's the thing: if those prices skyrocket to more than a vintage yak face. I'm just gonna buy a vintage jack face, <laughs> right? Yeah, right. Because <laughs> I'm st- that's that's also the thing for 2019. My my goal, I gotta find the blue snag. I gotta find that yak face. Yeah, gotta find them. This is the year, and I got I, I'm on last 17 hunting right now. Yeah, 
You know, I'm the, this is the year I got to do it. I know. I was really hoping, man. Like when we went to Rhode Island Comic Con, I was really yeah. hoping you were just going to find what you want for the price that you want it, and it was just going to be like mission accomplished. You I know? know, I know, but you know, we did all right. We did. It was we still a good, good time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got I got plenty of counters. I got tons of counters. Yeah, there. you came up on top with counters. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Did not didn't find the hype. I mean, there was some there was some some expensive stuff there. There was some good carded stuff, but it was it, it was too much. Mm-hmm. You know, they weren't they weren't they weren't reasonable price. They weren't normal prices. Well, this is the world we live in now. Because yeah. Joe, you know, it says Star Wars on it. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the world we've been living in. It, 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 it's it's all boom and bust with that yeah. stuff. You know, it, it, what, what are you gonna do? So after February. Not much going on until April, and then Celebration Chicago. Yeah. Chicago. I'm uh, excited and nervous at the same time. Yeah. What are you nervous about? Um, Inflation with, uh, like, autographs and photo ops. It's getting out of control. It's going to be... I think it's going to be very jam-packed. Yeah. Because this is a smaller convention center than Anaheim, I no, believe. No, it, it's bigger. It's, it's it, and or and or Orange County. Supposedly or, it's the biggest convention center in America. Really? Yeah. I thought it was smaller. No, it's gigantic. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, okay. Yeah, so um uh, well, Nick's what I just said. Well, I think that's why they're having it there. I mean, I think having a celebration in April in Chicago, uh it's going to be cold, man. It's going to be cold. You know, like, it's going to be unpleasant. Every um every celebration I went to, yeah. like, you know, you tan, you go to the pool, you go to the beach, and then, yeah. you know, you either, and then, you know, you wake up the next morning and go to Celebration. Hotels are hard to come by in Chicago, too. Yeah, that's why I'm so, when they announced it, the location, yeah. I, that's when I got it, and it's already sold out. I know. Did you get one close to the... It's, close con- to- it's connected. Nice. You're, I, you're one of the few, Chris. Yeah, you know something? It's a little expensive, mm-hmm. but you know something? I This time around, I want my life to be a little easy. I hope it's easy, yeah. I, I really do. You because- know, are you going old every day? No. I'm, no. I'm, um, we're leaving like... Uh, when are we leaving? I think Monday morning at like 5 in the morning. Yeah. It's like the first flight out. It's something crazy stupid. We yeah. have to wake up super early. Mm-hmm. And we're going... We'll be landing. It's only like a two and a half hour flight. Yeah, it's quick. Yeah, it's easy. Uh, we're going Thursday. But we, by the time we get there, check in. Mm-hmm. Thursday's going to be a chill day anyway. No mm-hmm. panels or whatever. So um, we're just going to walk in. Are and, you going to do panels for the first time? Um, Is it, it like sleep outside to get no, in? No, 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 not sleep outside. Just like go to go to a panel. Well, I we have, we always went to the Clone Wars panels. Yeah, well, um, those, those aren't. Well, there actually might be a season seven one. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, we went to the Rebels panel. Um, We went to the uh, Star Tours panel. No, I'm not. Detours. Detours. That'd huh. be cool if there was a Star Tours. Um, It'd be cool if there was a Detours. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm very happy that yeah. we did go to that one because that's when George Lucas walked on stage. Can I make a recommendation? I think you should check out a smaller panel. Not like tiny, tiny, but there were other panels going on. There's like weird stuff. Yeah, like, um, well, like, like yeah, there's, there's yeah. All, all different things. Like, like, like um, there's like all different tracks, you know, like check out something in the collecting track, you know? Right. Like here, like, uh, you know, what a big time collector, like even, you know, even, dare I say, even bigger than the collector side. No, I'm, I'm doing, small potatoes. Yeah, no, you're not. I'm a, I'm a fish in a big sea, Joe. No, you're not. You know? No, you're not. But, you know, always a bigger fish. As, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, maybe there's, Check out something. I think you will like other things. Mm. You know, like little little panels. You got time. It, it's fun to just sit in from like twenty minutes. 30 I know minutes. that you went and you got some cool patches, pins. Oh, like you met some cool people. Now, Chris, this is before you do a panel. I want you to find the pin and patch trading room. I, you know, I gotta this go is there. A fun, fun thing to do. Now, it's just, it's just. P- do you just trade your own patch? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because, like... Yeah. And people come with their whole collection. They're like, I'll trade whatever. You just throw it up there. Like, trade. And, like, and you you don't have to have, like, you don't... Like, we make patches because, we you know, you do collector's side. I do retro's app. We do bruises and blasts. We, we have our own patches of things. Some people just come with their collections yeah. that they've amassed over the years. And they just trade up. That's kind of cool. Some people make things special. For the, for the for the event, they make pins and they just do them special just to trade. Yeah, and they think of a funny pun. They do fun stuff, and it's great. It's great. I, I it was one of the most fun things, and it's one of the oldest convention things. I mean, going back to like the seventies, people were doing pin. Patch now there's trade. no line, right? You can just walk no, in there. It's, it's just it's just a, it's just a random room. People just hanging out. You just know what else we like out. was the uh, the we, helmet auction. They do customized helmets. Yeah, and it was just cool just to walk around, and take pictures and stuff. It was. Yeah, yeah. The pin patch training was one of the most fun things 
I, I did a celebration. I just kind of wandered in yeah. on my own. It was funny because going in, it was like, we're going to do this together. We're going to do this. It's like, it was more like, okay, Joe, I'll probably see you in five <laughs> hours from now. You know? I know. But, I know. But like we talked. You were, you were autograph only. I, dude, I like lived in that hall. You yeah. Know? Like I, um, I, I'm all about the photo ops now. But yeah. if there's like the um, like the I don't want to say smaller actors, but like you know the the more of the background characters, yeah, um, you know that's a quick autograph. Mm -hmm. Like you know mm -hmm. you might wait for like 15 minutes, yeah, and you you know you're not spending your whole paycheck. True, you know. So um, I think I'll do something like that, especially if I didn't meet them. Yeah. Um, but if they do have big names and I do want to meet them, totally going photo op. With, yeah. with that. Let me ask you, are you going to go to any uh, Chicago like, eateries? Are you going to go to like Pizzeria Uno? You know, a lot of people are, are saying like you got to go to the original Uno's. Get some deep dish, kid. Um, Conti and Lucia was telling me there's like a boat ride and stuff like that. And it's like when, when you go, it's like, hey, you're in Michigan. All right, whatever. I mean, that's, <laughs> well, that's uh, fine. Th then again, it's April and I'm probably going to freeze. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't going on Lake Michigan in, you, in April. You know what I wanted to see, though? You always see... Get a Chicago like, dog. Oh, Yes. Yes. That's on the that's on the list. Yeah, get a deep dish. Don't go don't get Uno was a Boston based company, by the way. I mean there was a pizza Uno in Chicago, but it's basically Boston. I'm not a deep dish pizza guy, I'm thin crust. Yeah, but get get a deep but dish. But out in of Chicago. respect, yeah. I'll get a pizza. Yeah, you gotta respect. Yeah. You know? Get a deep there's a place I'll, I'll I'll find out. There's a place in Chicago. Hey guys, what's the best deep dish in Chicago? Brews and blasts at retrosap.com. Let us know. Yeah, help us out. Help Chris out. But you know that I'm not going. You know that picture, like not a picture, but like it's like the Mary Tyler Moore show, and it, they zoom out and she's like on one of those bridges and you see the river. You're gonna make it <laughs> after all. Do, 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 do. You know, I uh What just happened? I I wanna I wanna see that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, that whole river thing, like, that's been in tons of movies, you know. Oh, ever, I know. It was ever in, seen uh, The Dark Knight Rises? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's... It was uh, in uh, The Breakup with uh, uh, Vince Vaughn. Well, that's because it takes place in Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. It's in uh, Office Christmas Party? Yes. Yeah. It? That was a good movie. Yeah. That was a good movie. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's fun. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You can shut your brain off and watch a movie. That's what we're talking. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I, like, I want to see it, but then again, if it's way out of the way, I'm probably not going to see it. You know? Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, let's just get you the deep dish and the, and the Chicago dog. Yeah. You know? What else should Chris have in, in Chicago for food? Bruce and Blast, RetroZap.com. We, we got to know. <laughs> let's talk Star Wars here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it's funny. I, I want to call you during celebration. I want, I want the recaps. Yeah, call. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be tuning in. I'm gonna do the digital. I'm gonna be yeah. I'm gonna be tuning into all the all the panels. And I gotta be honest with you, you get better coverage sometimes online than you do than you do being there. Joe, I was in Grenada. <laughs> I know <laughs> you were in Grenada. <laughs> you were getting great reception. It was funny because like I had great reception. Yeah, celebration Europe was happening, <laughs> dude. I was posting pitches like crazy, yeah. and I I just. I don't know if it was a text or like you commented. You were like, the kid's in Grenada and he's posting stuff. <laughs> what is this kid doing? <laughs> I was like, Bastian Space Monkey, this guy's going to be amazing. <laughs> kid's in Grenada. <laughs> it was true, though. It, it was, was the amazing. only rainy day. It was like perfect timing. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So moving on after that, uh, it's also 2019 is the 20th anniversary of The Phantom Menace. Dude, Dude. how insane is that? I know. How insane. 20 years. Yeah, you want to hear some weird things? Every person who was ever born in the 20th century is an adult now. Yeah, weird. Weird, right? Weird. weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, crazy. It's weird. Yeah, we're getting old. Yeah. You know? It was funny. Like, my dad took me to see that uh, right after school when I was uh, 13, 14 years old. Yeah. And, um, like, it's funny because, like, he went because, you know, I wanted to go. Yeah. But, it, I, I mean... Now that, like, I'm older, like, I would like to just, like, pick his brain about it. He like, probably won't even remember. Like, like watch that movie again and be like, what What are you thinking? He's probably not even, he won't even remember seeing it. No, I mean, like, watch it with him now. Yeah. And be like, no, you got to focus. It's not Andy, <laughs> it's not Andy Griffith. <laughs> like, you got to tune in, okay? <laughs> and just be like, what do you think? Yeah. He's like, like, space people. There's laser swords. What's going on? Fishes at the beginning. Yeah. Who's this guy? He is. Yeah, right, right, uh -huh. exactly. Like, uh, my like, dad, my dad, still he loves going going to see Star Wars in the movie theaters. My mom, when um, I got to go take it to see Episode Nine, I'm sure. When the Phantom Menace did the 3D, yeah, thing, uh, me and my mom went to the midnight show. Nice. It was us and like five other people. 
I took I took my daughter at the time. I don't think it was a midnight show. It might have been like an eight PM. I don't know um, if that did well at the the movie theater. They they didn't. never did episode two and three. No, they had them. They have them in the they had them in the can. They had two and three in the can, and they just they just killed it as part of the merger. Just yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it was weird, right? Yeah, because I think that happened in like twenty eleven. Dude, we got like tickets like the day before. I'm like, ma, this there's gonna be a line. We walked in. I'm like, does anyone know this is happening? So my oldest, yeah, I know my oldest daughter. That was the first live action Star Wars film she ever saw in the theater because she was born in 99. And, uh, you know, she's too young to see the original trilogy in the theater. And, uh, yeah, she saw, we, we saw The Clone Wars when she was eight. Oh, cool. But, I mean, I don't, we don't really, they, they don't even consider that part of, like, the one of the part of the canon films. You know, they know it's a movie release, but, yeah. It was a jump start. Yeah, exactly. It was like, it was the first three episodes in a movie theater. Yeah. Um, Which is, that, I mean, that's kind of cool that they did that. It's cool, you know. I wish yeah. they would do it again because it failed. I would do that, it know? failed, though. But I mean, financially, they would they will never do it again because it did not do well, mm. unfortunately. But, anyways, the the three D release of the Phantom Mess was the first film she saw in the theater. It was it was a really cool experience. Um, so I remember that for that reason. The first Star Wars movies that I saw in the movie theater was the special editions. Really, I mean, the first yeah. one I saw was Return of the Jedi. I mean, a, obviously. We like burnt out VHS tapes. Oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. watching the original mm-hmm. trilogy. But um, oh, yeah, that, those ninety that ninety seven. Oh man, that was great. It was. That I was, was great. I was like, this is this is happening. This is amazing. Man, it, it was like such a religious experience. It was it was amazing. Yeah, it, like it's in, back in theaters. I just remember my movies uncle, didn't come back in theaters. My uncle was like, he was like, he obviously he didn't know what the, it, like. The Salak pit, but he yeah. was like, the pit never had a mouth like that, like a head. <laughs> what's with the beak? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like he was like, what's that? You know? Yeah. What's with the beak on that thing? And I was like, dude, it's, it's making awesome. noises. Yeah. It didn't make noises. It made it burped once. That's it. <laughs> That's it. So I, I got it. I just remember. I don't know what. I don't know why I remember like stupid things. Mm-hmm. But I remember him being like, "What is this?" You know? <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, and I'm I like, think a lot of people did. And I'm like, I love, I love it all. I really do. Yeah, I loved it. But I do find myself popping in the original version. Ah, uh, I, I, I don't like, I don't like how degraded it looks. I don't. Well, I, don't, I, I barely ever watch those. Really? Yeah. I don't know. There's something about it. I just, I like putting it in there. Hmm. But then again, with the Blu-ray, you know, like, yeah. uh, it, it looks phenomenal. It looks phenomenal. So I remember. You know? Yeah, I'm um, I'm I'm a fidelity hound. I need to have it look beautiful. Yeah. Oh well, that the Blu-ray uh, box set. You know, it looks like a book. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best. You got that right. I do. My cousin Bobby has had that for a couple of years. I totally forgot about it. Bobby, the one that I know. Yeah. We need to hunt them down. Yeah. Exactly. I've run into him at the most weirdest spots. I've all been the watching. Time. I've been watching the digital collection for years. Ever since I had it. That's See, what I watched. Yeah, you're a digital guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I got it. I get it all on digital. It's so easy. That's really convenient. Like if you're on a plane. Oh my god, yeah. Voodoo, man. Voodoo.com. Yeah, I got my, my whole library on there. It's awesome. I love it. Um, okay. So after that, Galaxy's Edge. Mm. Galaxy's Edge. I mean, is that when when is that happening? Towards I think the end fall, of the right? Towards the fall. Yeah. All right, so Galaxy's Edge is saying Summer. Jedi in, News is saying summer in Disneyland. Yeah, that's Cali is on yeah. the summertime. Yeah, so we're gonna get a little sneak peek. What is Lucky. Look- yeah, I know. Did you see the preview? I did. That happened o- o- over Christmas. Yeah. Oh man. I, I, yeah, it's insane, man. I yeah, uh, I just so can't cool. believe like our dream came true. I know. I, I'm not gonna be that damn one. I, I, it's I gonna be insane. It. It's gonna be insanity. It is gonna be crazy. I to be honest with you, it's gonna be crazy for a year. Yeah. You know what I mean? Day one, day fifty. It's gonna be insane. I know. Like I look know. at Avatar. It's still there's still like a three hour wait. Wow. You know. So I I don't. And who know. cares about Avatar? I, I kind of I I really want to experience that yeah. because I heard it was like beautiful and the ra- ride was amazing. No one cares about Avatar. There's no Avatar fans. Oh, I mean, I want to live Avatar. in, in uh, Galaxy's Edge. Like if oh, I yeah. if I can find a way maybe to hide myself behind a tree and then the park closes and then I get all I to know, myself. I know. Now well, we're talking. Now, now there's a thing. Like, do I do I wait until like my youngest daughter is like old enough to really remember it and experience it? Well, do you and I just kind of like fly down like covert style? Well, I got news for you. What's I'm that? not waiting six, seven years. Yeah, I'm not waiting six, seven years either. So, uh, and my wife could care less. Right. You know? So, I mean, I'm going. Are we Are we just going to hop on a plane and be like, yeah, we're going out for the day? <laughs> like, are we going to do this? Well, uh, my boy Gus, 
Yeah. You know, uh, oh, yeah. you know, he'll, uh, we got to meet up with him. Okay. Uh, obviously, Alex is going. Uh, we're, we're trying to see what's going on with this hotel because we want to stay in the hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I heard like when All you. All right, so I guess it's not us going. You can come. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you can come. I'm not going to say, Joe, you can't come. It'd be really weird three of us in a hotel, though. <laughs> <laughs> Three's company. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I heard this hotel, like, they uh, they give you, like, you know, like, resistance clothes. I heard like, that. Like, you're a pilot now. Yeah, you can wear this crap and just, you yeah, know, yeah. be one of us. Be in the Star Wars world. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. I would love to do that. That's why. You it's know? like, but then again, like, I don't want to have to take a loan out for, like, seven grand. A true. You know, true. so how about we go and enjoy the park first, mm-hmm. and then we see what's happening? Yeah. But I, I don't know, man. I I think it's going to be one of those emotional experiences. Like right when you walk into the park, there's going to be so many like juices flowing mm-hmm. that you're going to be like, I uh, I really I don't know, like what to do with myself I, right I, now. I think it's going to be more like stepping on board the Millennium Falcon. Is going to be like kind of like an experience. Yeah. Like I, I'm I'm getting I'm actually getting worked up thinking yeah, about it. It's going to be it's going to be insane. It's going to be weird. I know it's like like a ride. You know what I mean? Like there's like 20 bays of it, but still. When they showed us that that preview, now like there's uh like the pilot, the co-pilot, and then there's two seats behind that. Yeah, like just like on the Falcon. Yeah, but I don't. I want to be either in the pilot or the co-pilot. Like how how do you like? Do you, you got to go as a group? Do you say? Do you have say? You got to go as a group. You got to fill up the sub the pod. Otherwise, they're gonna do like okay, you and plus three other randos. Yeah, but then what? Do I turn around and look at the randos and go? Well, me and her, are the pilot co-pilot. So I don't know what you guys are doing. Exactly. You know. Yeah, you. Yeah, sit in the back, Luke. Hey, I don't know if you guys know this, but they made this whole 14 acres just for me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm yeah. sitting in that seat. Hey, stranger, you know Luke Skywalker sat in the back of the Falcon, right? <laughs> don't you want to be Luke Skywalker? <laughs> yeah. 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 They put C-3PO there and shut him down. Yeah. Shut him up or shut him down. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna look at it. <laughs> Hey, shut him up or shut him down. <laughs> yeah, so that's, there's a lot of challenges. Not, I mean, not to sound selfish. No, not at all. <laughs> no, you don't sound selfish at all. <laughs> the, the entire park was built for you. <laughs> so Chris is going to go. He's going to take his wife, and I'm going to, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. You can totally come. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll figure that one out. My wife will love that. <laughs> yeah. Or just trick her. Be like, we're going to Magic <laughs> Kingdom. It's going to be magical. I'm sure she'll want to go to that. Be like and be like what in Hollywood Studio? This is that Star Wars land? Yeah. Oh, she knows. She does, knows. Does she like uh, roller coasters? No, not really. Hmm, how can we trick her to go? I mean, she'll go. She'll just not. You know what she said? She said, "You and Emily can go. I'll just stay at the hotel that day." I'm like, okay, still a win. No, I still have to wait six years to go. Oh, all right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Like, I, I need like, I, I, I need a crew. I need a crew yeah. to go down there with to just kind of like. I, I need to go in rogue. Now, you know, I need I need like I need my rogue one crew right to like to ride or die with me. Yeah, that's what I need. I need to go in there. I mean, I am gonna feel extremely bad, um, you know, leaving him home. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, he's a baby. It, yeah, I mean, he'll probably be like, let's say one and a half or whatever by the yeah. time we make it down there. But it, it's you know, I will feel bad. But at the same time, it's like if we take him, like he, it's gonna be hot. He's not gonna he's remember gonna, it. He, well, he's not going to remember it. He's going to be, he can be uh, like aggravated when he's or, like six, or there's yeah. too much going on, maybe when, loud noises. I don't know. He's going to be angry. He'd be like, gee, thanks for taking me when I couldn't remember it. Well, he's, my he's parents, like yeah. supposedly when I was younger, I went twice. Yeah. Guess what? Don't remember the first time. The second time, unbelievable time. There we go. And I was about eight, nine years old. That's I had a blast. Thing. That's the thing. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. Had a blast. Yeah. You don't you want to take them when they can't remember. That's why I was like, we went twice. Yeah. I'm like, why'd you like waste the money? You like, might, I don't. You might need to go twice. You might need to go with your wife, and then you might need to, you know, we might need to get on a plane. We gotta Imagine go- if I fly back and I just stay at Logan. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, Let's go. Yeah, okay, I'm going back. Why don't you stay in Florida and I'll meet you down there? Or, that would probably be more cost effective for, <laughs> for, for, for me. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure this out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just need I need my Rogue One crew mm. to like to get this done. Yeah. Like maybe like in 2020. Yeah. Well, that that's why it would be nice if uh, you know if they have sell. If they have celebration in Orlando again, yeah, then we like you know we can sneak over there. Well, that's the thing. If we go during celebration, it's gonna be a madhouse over there. Unless we go, unless we sacrifice a day of celebration and then we go to the park during celebration hours, mm. then you know at least <laughs> like what? How many people 
go attend celebration. I don't, I don't know. know. Five million? <laughs> yeah, it feels like that, right? <laughs> it's about, it's you about feel, right. You feel like a sardine. That's like accurate. A... <laughs> sardine. Hey, the emperor eats sardines. We were talking about that last show. Yeah, he That's does. It. That's true. Okay, moving on. We have more things happen in 2019. Disney Plus launches in the USA in in the fall. Now, is that the streaming thing? That's that's the channel. Yep, that's, Disney that's Plus. that Netflix okay. thing. And they, they're going to have The Mandalorian and Clone Wars Season 7. Oof, man. Oof. Chris, we're going we're gonna to be, we got to go hardcore. Yeah. You know? Because we're, we're going to have to do episode recaps. Yes. Yeah. The people are going to want to know what we have to think about The Mandalorian. You know, we, we, we're going to have to go hardcore, Chris. I'm ready to go hardcore. We're going to go hardcore. You're not hardcore unless you live hardcore. Yeah. You know? That's true. That's true. School of Rock. That's true. The legend. <laughs> the legend of the rent is way hardcore. <laughs> it's way past due. Beow, 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 beow. In the ancient time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and the yeah. writing was written on the wall. <laughs> But no one seemed to understand. <laughs> Force Friday. I heard March about the, this. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's rumored. Official? I don't oh, think it's, it's, it's official. I, I believe it's rumored that it will be returning because it, it happened for seven. It happened for eight. We believe it's going to happen for nine. Where do we go? Well, we're not going to go to Toys R Us. Well, I'll tell you this right now. That last Force Friday. Well, what was, it? Yeah, was it like a... I don't. Was it a rumor or was it just a release day? It was. You know, Force Friday Two was a real thing for Solo. No, not for Solo. Okay, because I was going to say Solo. Re- Solo didn't happen because I remember driving around. Now at the end of the day, well, I shouldn't say at the end of the day. After like a couple of hours of just being disappointed, yeah. I just bought stuff on Amazon. And I was like, this was a terrible day. Yeah, Force Friday. There was no merchandise event for Solo. It just didn't happen. Um. The one for The Last Jedi was kind of pathetic as well. Remember how bad that was? Yeah, there was one Praetorian guard. Do you have the Praetorian guard? In that, <laughs> that case, if you're listening, you, yeah. you got him. You, you got you know. him. Yeah, I got him as Kanata. You did? That was, that was it, yeah. But it, it was just a mess. I don't, did I get anything? I don't know what you got. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It, it was a mess. It was a terrible time. The 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 Force Awakens was great. Looking back on it. Yeah. We, it, was a, it was a little it was chaos, but at least it was something. Mm-hmm. You know, we we dropped we dropped money. We got figures. We did, but I don't know those uh, uh the other ones. So let's let's hope this Force Friday for Episode Nine is something substantial. We enjoy it. It is. It's a close to the to the saga. I, uh, so, so they to, say. Uh, right. This this is the end of the Skywalker saga. Right. So we shall see. We will try. Uh, okay. Um. Also, this is this is new. Uh, the website Production Weekly. Says of the Cassian Andor live action series starring Diego Luna is starting filming in October. Oh wow! Yeah, very reputable source because this is where people go who actually work on the movies, like the production of the movies, like the the, the cameraman. And the, so they're they're yeah. they're writing and casting right now. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're I mean, they announced casting uh, a couple of episodes ago. We we talked about that for Cassian. I don't think so. Oh, I don't, I'm sorry. That's the Mandalorian. Mandalorian yeah. Yeah, that casting. For, what a, for, what a crazy cast, man. I know. You know what we glossed over? And I've been watching Better Call Saul recently, so I've I've been tuned into this. You know who's in the Mandalorian that we just totally glossed over? Who's this? Um, Gustavo Fring from Breaking Bad. Is that the guy that owns the chicken? Los place? Pollos Locos. He's yeah. in that, huh? Yeah. He's, he's also in, in Nothing to Lose with Martin Lawrence and uh, that other dude. It's a really funny movie. Yeah, I mean, not on the same level. Never even heard of it. Yeah, dude, it's a good movie. Yeah? Yeah. And he's like one of like the like the criminal guys. No kidding. Yeah, I'm talking early on. Nothing this, to it, lose. It might be like his first gig. Nothing to lose, huh? Never never heard of it. I hope I'm saying it right. I think it's nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Is that the one with Danny DeVito? No. Okay. Um. Ah, oh, man. The, the guy's been in so much stuff. He was in uh, yeah, he's been Shawshank. In, um, dude, he's been in everything, yeah. He, he really has. He's uh, like a chameleon, almost. He's like he's in every so, so he's in the Mandalorian. He's huh? in the Mandalorian, Duke Gustavo Fring. Wow, huh? Yeah. Congratulations to him. Congratulations. Right. So how do we like can we apply? <laughs> like I, I don't get it. Like how does it to be cast? Yeah, like I don't I don't need to be a main character. Like I just want to be like hanging out. An extra? Yeah. yeah don't why pay not? me. I'll I'll pay for my own flight, hotel, everything. Yeah, we don't yeah, we'll we'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go we'll go to Galaxy's Edge afterwards. Right. You we'll know? take a week off and yeah. make the best of it. We go. What if they shot at Galaxy's Edge? 
Oh, that would be that would be crazy, right? That'd be crazy. Right? I mean, they have the whole it's Star Wars land. Mm. You know, that'd be cool. <laughs> so, um, no, what, what was the? Oh, so uh, can they just announce Alan Tudyk or what? Uh, I mean, really? I, I mean, for real? If what are they doing? I mean, there is a story of Cassian meeting K two S O. There is. I've read that story. It's in the comics, and it's cool. It's cool. So I wonder for them to not do Cassian and K two though. I don't. I just don't get it. Right. Like, it it's would like be Chewie weird. and Han. It, it is a little bit. Uh, I really like, I think people want K2SO. I think people will be very disappointed. I do. I can do like the first like five episodes, a nice build up. Yeah. And then like how he gets oh, that K2. Oh, that would be cool. You know? That would be really cool. Maybe that's what they're waiting for. Maybe the, they're not going to even announce him. And yeah. everyone's going to be like, what's going on? Like, who is this Cassian show? And then all of a sudden it's like, yeah, K2SO just shows up. Yeah. Tries killing him or something. He gets him, reprograms him. I don't know. Just like how Jin shot like that that droid. It was like, how'd you know that wasn't me? Right, right. Like, uh. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. Now we think, like, yeah. just you know, throw For, us in. Throw, just, just throw us in. All, all we want is producer credits. We have some good ideas. That's all we it. want, all we want is producer credits. That's all. Imagine someone's listening and, and they're like, "All right, well, I'm gonna take that one. No, that that sounds pretty good." <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I just feel like they just need I to grab a couple fans and be like, what would you like to see? Sometimes I feel like that happens. I got to be honest. I, I I feel like there's times we've said things and they show up places. I'm not mm. going to say where. I just feel like they show up places. That's all I'm saying. Right. We've talked about this. Are we losing it? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. And of course, in December, episode nine happens. Bringing a conclusion to the Skywalker story. I don't even... Uh, I'm so excited for it, and I'm also just like, I can't even start to get excited for it yet. I know. Like, this is this is perhaps maybe the biggest movie we've ever seen. Like, think about it. This is it. Well, just knowing that it's a close. In a lot so of, anything can happen. In a lot of ways, this is kind of the end of Star Wars as we know it. Right. I mean, anything else. Well, it's, Everything it's, that happens after is going to be after. It's all new, per se, but... These characters that are tied in, yeah, to what Every, what we know and love from everything, before. Everything we know about Star Wars is coming to an end, and whatever happens after is just going to be after. Yeah, just all new faces. Yeah, because we're first gen. Yeah, so this is it. This is the end of what we know, and it's like this is crazy. This is crazy, crazy. So I, I have no idea what to expect. There's going to be a time jump, and after that, who knows? Mm. Who knows? Anything is possible. And it's gonna. Uh, all I know is. It's going to be good. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. It's going to be great. There's going to be more movies, obviously. I mean, of course. But there may not be an episode 10. Exactly. I, yeah. I mean, I think it's going to be something new. Yeah. Um, and I think there's going to be, um, you know, some time in between. Like, oh, yeah. Maybe, oh, yeah. They, maybe they'll focus more on TV. I, yeah. I don't know. I, I, maybe they will. I maybe wouldn't TV. expect a movie like a year after episode nine. No, I, th- I think TV's the future. Unless there's a, a new standalone that Streaming. we don't know about. Streaming is the future. The Mandalorian series, Cassie and Andor series. I mean, don't forget, we have more updates coming. I'm sure we're going to get more updates about the Ryan Johnson trilogy. Oh, exactly. And the you know? dudes from Game of Thrones. And the Game of Thrones series of films. It's Okay, it is it, films. Okay. It's called series of films. That's how they announced it. What, what that means, we don't know. I mean, Game of, Game of Thrones is essentially a series of films nowadays, too. Each episode's an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. So what do you call that? So are, are all these going to end up on Disney Plus? Who knows? Oh, I was going to say, like, is, that, is, is a series of movies, is, will that go to the theater? No one knows. No one knows. I mean, movies show up on Netflix all the time. Yeah, well, you know? Yeah. I mean, it, who knows? Maybe Who knows what Disney's strategy is with Star Wars anymore? Right. They're going to say, you know. Forget the box office. We're just going Disney Plus now. Who knows? Uh, it's crazy. So we have no idea what to expect, but it's going to be exciting. We're going to get a lot more updates in 2019 about all these projects, though. And we can't forget about the comics, the books, the games, and the figures mm-hmm. and unknown projects. Right. There's, all, the, <laughs> there's always something cooking oh, in the yeah, pot. There's something coming. There's all, uh, whoa, <laughs> somebody's coming. Yeah, there's, there's always something happening. So... Lot to look forward to. Lot to look forward to, guys. Kiddos. Think things are happening.
What do you say? Are you, are you hyped up for 2019 yet? I am. You hyped up for egg rolls? Oh, pff, dude, always. You hyped up to get another Santoro, Santoro sub? I have to get one last one. All right. I think one we, last ride. I think we've done our job then. <laughs> and with that, guys, thank you so much for listening to Bruising Blasters. Our official website is bruisingblasters.ninja. And if you can hear our voices right now, we want to hear from you. Email us at bruisingblasters at retrozap.com. Voicemail is 978-219-6688. We are part of the RetroZap Podcast Network. Subscribing at every RetroZap show all in one place with a network catch-all feed available on all podcast apps. Find us wherever podcasts are found and go to Fanta Tracks and Jedi News for all the latest updates. If you're a new listener, we hope you subscribe. Our mid-credits theme is by Luke Schreiber, and if you want to support the show, just leave us an iTunes review, and when you do, send us proof with your mailing address, and you'll win a coveted Oppo Award. Major award. It's a major award! It really is. The only way to get it. Exclusive. Is to, is to get on that iTunes, that trash, trash <laughs> program, <laughs> that app of hell. And leave a review. Leave a good review. We like re- we like good reviews. Run the gauntlet. Yeah. And you know what? No. I'm not even going there. Just just leave a review when you get an Oppo Award. That's all we're saying. That's all we're saying. You know, there's a lot of people who have been leaving them. They haven't been sending us those addresses, though. No? Get them in. Get them in, guys. We have a mailing to do. We have a lot to send out. We're getting them out there. Don't worry. And you know something? While you're at it, big high-tech marketing right here. I want you to think about a friend of yours. Even if they don't even listen to Star Wars, just tell them about Bruising Blast this week and get them to subscribe. You know how to get them to subscribe. Get, the, get a podcast app on their phone and make them subscribe and listen. Talk to them about the show. Talk to them about the food. Have some fun. You know? Make make it a bigger party of your, of your, of your, of your party. Sharon is Karen. Smash that like button on Facebook. Smash that like button on Twitter. Smash that like button on Instagram. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Get your own Bruising Blast t-shirt. Go to RedStuff.com and click on the merch on the main menu. New styles available now. Find Chris at thecollectorshut.com. Subscribe to his channel on YouTube. Hello. That's it, guys. You might want to buckle up, baby. That's a show. Godspeed, Rebels. Suck a la. And tell the Kanji Club. We'll see you next week. I'm afraid the party's changing so But the summer's never shown Clutch!